feels like Christmas. I remember shooting here around around Christmas time last year with Gabrielle. So you do it very relaxing. So. <laughs> so you're all good. I'm all good, yeah. Do you want to feel it in your hand? Just see what it feels like. Oh, that feels nice. Eyes closed. Okay guys, back from the event. A goodie bag. So Sunday Rally has a subscription. <laughs> I can't just like I said, I can't talk properly because I have a song in my mouth. So forgive me. Mm, curated by Sunday. I got to meet Sunday herself. She's so pretty. Her skin is amazing, obviously. I mean if you're gonna have a skincare line. Well, I would expect you to have good skin and she was so sweet and so down to earth I really just love When you meet people and it's just, just like so nice Of course you can't go to a Sunday Rally Slumber party and not have Luna I love Luna I love this oil I got it in the little bottle And I use it I really love it I also bought UFO I really love UFO And good jeans I love the brand and I haven't tried this yet, but this is a Slumber Party Deep Pillow Spray. I am definitely going to be using this tonight. I am super excited. I can't wait. And they have an overnight hair repair in here. And they also have, oh, a little bit of good jeans and autocorrect. I've been wanting to try autocorrect. And we've got a little bag with... Uh, Little little dream catcher thingy. Oh, that's so cute. I love dream catchers. And you guys know that. My first dream catcher I got when I went to England. I went to Brighton, and that's where I got this dream catcher. I've had it since 2013. It's been with me ever since. I also have, oops, I'm falling, wow, I also have another dream catcher right here, I don't remember why I bought this, I think Joey's mom gifted me this one, and as you can see, I use Sunday Riley, this is my UFO, focus, so this is my UFO right here, I love, I'm sure you guys know what dream catchers are for, they kind of like catch your bad dreams when you go to bed. Audrey Boy believed that the night is full of both good and bad dreams. The dream catcher, when hung, moves freely about in the night air and catches dreams as they float by. The good dreams, knowing their way, easily slip through the opening in the center, absorbing the protecting from the stones and beads, and gently slide down the feather on the dreamer. The bad dreams, being wayward and not knowing the way, become entangled in the web and are destroyed in the first light of the new day. Oh, I love this. I'm about to hang this. And it has a little certificate of authenticity, guaranteed Native American original design craftsmanship, and all that good stuff. This one, I'm about to hang it on this side of my bed because that's the side that I sleep on. So it really makes sense for me to have it on this end i think that's all that's in this bag and they walk you through all the products obviously i can't wait to use a spray i also got my sleep monogram i guess no i love well it depends on what it is some things i hate the monogram because you can't sell them um like designer bags i don't think i would ever monogram those because I bought this J. Cool bag. I monogram it now. I can't sell it. I wouldn't say I'm over it. But it's kind of like. I don't wear it. So I got. Am I opening this properly? 
Alright, I'm sure you can see it from here. But I've got my monogram um, sleeping mask. As you can see, it says Dadu Chic. Isn't this so cute? I love it. Dadu Chic. Love, love it. This is going to be so cute for like content. Um, so the event was at the Plaza Hotel. I love the Plaza Hotel. Never stayed there, but I already know it's one of my favorite hotels because. I mean, just walking in the lobby is like a luxury. It's like all around you. We've also got this big bag. We got this comforter. It's called Luna. How convenient. <laughs> so this is going to be super cute. I also have a pajama, but Manu has my pajama. She forgot to bring me my, my, my pajamas. The pajamas are so cute. This is going to work really well when it's like super cold. So that's it from the event. And then I went to the sex office event. Even though it's really good. Got something from Amazon. Something for my Halloween costume. I'm so excited to try this. But I think this is going to work out fine, honestly. This looks so cute. So why don't we try it together and see how ridiculous I'm going to look with these bangs. I'm going to have to cut them because her bangs were like super short. Oh lord. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Guys, can I do the bang thing or not? What do you guys think? Oh, I just got my order for Mingo. So I've been needing like a cute bag to go to like events because sometimes I love this bag it's like a conversation starter but the problem with this bag is it's really hard to navigate when you can only carry it in your hand and then when I'm trying to like eat carry a drink it's like super inconvenient that bag I feel like it's a going out to dinner bag it's not a bag that you carry to events Although, I mean, although it's like the perfect bag because everyone always loves it. I always get like a ton of compliments on that bag. So, I thought I would get this bag. Um, it was on sale for like $19 from Mango. Actually, my cousin bought it in the, in the brown color when we were in Paris. I really wanted to get it, but I think it was the last one. It's so cute, guys. It's like the perfect going to event bag. I really, really love it. Like, it's the perfect one. And then I could always do this, something like that. It just looks so cute. It almost looks like designer-ish. I don't think you can see it. Let me just put this down. So this is what the bag looks like. Now let me try to put the... And it looks like it fits, it would fit like all my necessities. I'm about to carry this bag like literally everywhere. I think that's the same bag I'm going to use for my Halloween costume because I didn't get a chance to go on Sunday to buy my Halloween costume bag. So I'm going to carry this little bag. That is perfect guys. Can you see this? It's so perfect. And I can't even... I think I could go like one more time and then I'll just carry it like that for my Halloween costume. But then again, for non Halloween costume, this is going to be my going out bag. This is going to be my event bag. So I'm realizing I need more like blogger ish outfit, although my style is classic. You know, it's not trendy, but I feel like I still need some like cool little trendy pieces just kind of like for events and stuff i need to get this hair sorted i need to wash it it's like super dirty it looks so cute like that oh yeah i was supposed to show you what i was like from it and i got these pair of pants i've been dying to get these pants i'm so mad i didn't get them when i was in paris so they are this beautiful I think they are linen. Give up. But these pants, uh, when we were at the Chanel store shopping, this girl walked in the store. She was wearing an all beige outfit. And 
I believe she had on these pants and I fell in love with them and I've been going to the store kind of like every time trying to find them they only had like a size 6 and they were like massive on me so when they had like a 30% sale online I snagged these They're gonna go so well with my Chanel beige shoes or even these Chanel shoes but these are the pants they have this little faux pocket over here and the buttons are kind of like brown ish and blue, yellow and black and they are so cute excuse the mess can't really see it properly but I love these pants so much this one I could actually wear them to go to events I could wear like a silk blouse with my shish shoes and then with this sort of black bag I need so I've been wanting to buy a Chanel bag but I think I'm gonna have to buy it in a beige color Although I feel like I can't buy a beige bag as my first bag, but. So these are the pants. I really love them. Yeah. They fit perfectly and the length is so perf. Like, I cannot complain at all. I'm gonna go to bed now because tomorrow is Friday and I've got to work tomorrow. I'm exhausted. I'm not trying to do anything tomorrow. I'm trying to go straight. I'm trying to come straight home tomorrow. Get rest because this weekend is another pack weekend. <sighs> this week has been so busy. But who am I to complain? That's the life I asked for. You gotta be careful what you ask for because you might get it. Alright, guys, thanks so much for watching along. I will catch you either tomorrow or in my next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. Today is Sunday, October 26, I believe. And um, this is the cleanest my bedroom has been, I feel. Although this is some love because I'm gonna use the iron. So I need it there. As you can see, the clothes rack is a mess, but my shelf there is somewhat organized this is stuff for my halloween costume which i'm about to start getting ready in a minute skincare should go in my other shelf this is to to protect my shoes and i need to film a video showing you guys how to take care of your clothes and shoes and pick this cute little bag that i just bought so this is my shelf. This was the best decision, best investment I've made. Honestly, it's not even enough. I thought I wasn't a shoe girl, but turns out I am after all. I need another one just like this for shoes. In the summertime, it should be a lot easier. Rack. I have to take my summer stuff out. But yeah, there's still some summer stuff hanging here and I need to go return this coat. Turns out I don't really like it at all. My desk is somewhat clean. This is just my vitamins, which I usually bring to me at work. It's uh, because on the weekend my my diet is a little bit crazy. Um, it's better if I have them at work because I can time myself. Well, I have a reminder, like every noon and every three o'clock, to remind me to take my vitamins. So I have from the Sunday Riley event, which I vlogged about pictures of us this is from another event and this is new gift that i got from daisy london the just um, did a collaboration with este you guys know este lalonde here on youtube she's amazing i love este so i got to pick out a necklace from her goddess collection and i cannot wait to show you guys what it is and over here we have my beauty shelf that i have to organize but i'm gonna do a giveaway so I need to get all the stuff on the bottom out to do my giveaway and it's been raining all day This is the Malitu makeup area Someone is calling me hold on I think it might be Deb no. 
Hey guys, this is me dressed up in my Halloween look. I had my gloves on early, a little bit earlier. Um, I mean, five minutes ago, but I just took it off. I'm about to meet Deb to take our photos. And this is the best I could do with my updo. I think I did pretty good. Basic, right? Really good. I love it. Mm. Okay, this is how it looks like. Damn, this light down. Guess who I'm gonna be? You guys already know Holly Go Lightly. Super excited. Hello, guys. Happy Wednesday. So, I really want to straighten my hair tonight, but the strain would not let me be great. Just gonna ignore. Team Ad Books Brothers reached out to me. They wanted to send me um, a few pieces to style. I'm so excited because I love Book Brothers. This stuff is so my style. It's classic. You can't go on with it. Like it's stuff that you it's pieces that you're gonna have in your wardrobe for a very, very long time, if not forever. You guys know I was gonna go with a camel coat, right? You guys know a camel coat is the number one item in my fall winter wardrobe. If you don't have a camel coat, I suggest you go and get yourself one and I don't really have um, any camel coat in this shape that has a button all the way up here um, and also I love the the sleeves on this like this I'm not even sure if I even have the shade of camel but this is in a size 6 and oh my days it looks so perfect i love it back so you guys can see the coat and look at the sleeves i love how they like folded they are sewn in but i'm sure if they are too short you could probably undo them if you must but they fit me perfectly I really love this I love this because this is more of a classic style that you can go to church you can go to work yeah, you can wear this with more of a business look as opposed to most of the other camel coats that I have they are more casual but this one is more dressy so I really love that so guys, here's the cover things that are a bit on the looser side. I don't like fitted anything. Also, if I'm wearing a chunky knit underneath, I need that space to breathe and also for layers and all that stuff. So I always try to go a size or two bigger in my coats. I hardly ever wear coats or anything that is fitted for that matter. It's just not my style. I am a loose kind of... <laughs> Well, that sounds that did not sound good <laughs> it's the next item that I picked out is this um, over stretch wool oversized turtleneck sweater this is it for reference it's $198 and this is such good quality I mean as soon as you see it as soon as you touch it like you can tell and I don't really think that I have like an oversized gray sweater that is super quality I think I do have one from like ASOS and it's not the same and I love that this one it's a little bit on the longer side because when I wear pants I like my sweaters to kind of like cover my butt I don't really like to show my behind I don't have one anyways so there's nothing to show but yeah if I'm wearing pants that are um, like my Zara pleather pants that I wear to death like during the winter when I wear those I typically like a sweater or tops that kind of like cover my butt that goes all the way down so this is perfect I also love how straight the um, sleeves are it's like so perfect so I'm gonna pop this on as you can see I'm wearing a turtleneck Turtleneck also is another item that you need in your winter fall wardrobe. Um, if you don't have turtlenecks, you are missing out. I used to have this thing where my neck was so sensitive, I could never wear a turtleneck. But I kind of got over that fear. I persevered. Um, it took me about a year. Um, just kind of like wearing it against my will. 
but I'm finally at a point where I can wear them now but even so if it's something is too tight I still have like a hard time because it tickles my neck like <laughs> my neck to death <laughs> but my neck is not as ticklish as it used to be but um yeah we're getting there but as soon as you put a turtleneck on you look so classy there's nothing like a turtleneck and also it keeps you warm if your neck is covered you're always going to be warm even if your feet are out so always look out for a very good turtleneck this one i've had it for like three years and i wear them literally all winter so i have this one in like every color but we're not talking about this one. This one is from Zara. They make them like every year because they're such like staples to your wardrobe. I'm telling you, you can buy the most basic things and always look classy. You don't have to wear like t-shirts. Like I cannot do t-shirts. Like t-shirts make me look too casual. I hate it. So I've popped on the sweater so I can show you guys what it looks like. I've got this in a size small. Obviously, I'm putting it over the one that I was already wearing. Which is why it may look a little bit bulky, but it's not going to look like that when I just wear it by itself. And I love the neck. Because you know sometimes turtlenecks, the necks are like so short and then I'm just like pulling them all the time. But this is perfection. I love how long it is. It's like coziness to the max. Like I could definitely see me in up in the mountains just chilling. This is so perfect. So guys, this is what the sweater looks like on, obviously. So guys, you know Estee here on YouTube. I love her. I've been following her forever. I feel like I kind of like go up with her. Um, I've been following her for ages when she was with Aslan. I think she had just moved to the UK when I started following her. So it's been a while. She was in collaboration with Daisy London lunch a jewelry collection it's called the goddess collection it's kind of a way to celebrate the inner goddess in you which I love it's just like it just tell you that all of us were all goddesses you know you don't have to be Cleopatra I mean not taking anything away from her Cleopatra was amazing I mean incomparable but um, it's just, you know, for a way to celebrate yourself, to know that you are beautiful, you're a goddess, you are special. So they were kind enough to send me a beautiful piece from her collection. And I'm very grateful to have it. I got to pick out the piece that I wanted. And of course, I love necklaces because I can always take them off and mix and match. And also, when I saw this necklace, I had to have it. It's so beautiful. It's in this hexagonal shape. It has two moons. A little heavy. You can not heavy in a sense where um, you feel like you're carrying something, but heavy as um, for like quality. You can tell this is very, very good quality. Of course, I went with the gold plated because. I love gold anything that I wear has to be gold this is so so gorgeous if you guys want to check out the goddess collection I'll put a link down below and uh, let me know which piece you've picked up from the collection or what are you interested in so I really really love this this is a little magazine um, I would say with Estee she was just in New York actually celebrating the lunch um, I wish I could have gone to the lunch because it seems like so much fun it was at one of was it at the Ludla Hotel I love it so it's to celebrate the modern goddess I love love this and they had this whole little interview to get a snippet behind the whole collection I I really really love love the pieces i love essay i love the way she talks i can listen to her talk forever along with the necklace they they have included this beautiful print which i am guessing is a goddess i've actually been looking for a print like this for the longest time so i'm so happy this was included in the with the gift so now i can find a frame for this and just put it where i wanted it they've also sent me some palo santo you guys know i'm always burning palo santo for good energy so very very happy about that thank you so much daisy london very kind of you to send me this beautiful gift and of course thank este for you know co-creating this beautiful beautiful collection that was such such a good collection so i urge you guys to celebrate the goddess in yeah, and just be yourself just know your worth just know you're beautiful 
and um, yeah I don't know I just feel so special um I think that's it for now I'm gonna go this is kind of like my rest day because tomorrow I have to pack as I'll be leaving to the airport straight after work on Friday I'm so sad because my boots are coming on Friday and I wanted my boots I really hope they come tomorrow but well, did I show you guys the pants are too big but I'm thinking about keeping them anyways because I love oversized pants I don't like wearing anything that's like too tight so I like them I may do a look with them I think I can pull them off